Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to this video on the Radio Master TX16S, which is running OpenTX. So this video is also relevant to any other modern day radio running OpenTX. In this video, we're going to talk about widgets, setting them up and getting telemetry in there. So in order to do all this stuff, you got to be well versed in setting up telemetry. And we took care of that in video 12. And if you're new around here, you're, you're thinking, what, what did he just say? Did he, did he just say video 12? And the answer, my friend, is if this is the first video of mine you've ever found, this is video number 13 in my TX16S series. You heard that right, 13. There are 12 that precede this video, including number 12 being telemetry. There's 11 before that. I'll throw up a screen here so that you can kind of get a quick rundown on all the things that we've covered so far. But what we've done essentially is we started at zero and we worked our way through a good portion of this radio. And we had a little bit of fun um, doing a bunch of customization. And now we're back to seriousness setting up the widgets and then basically taking the telemetry information from the widgets and incorporating that. So this is uh, where we're at. Hey, psst, stick around because things are going to get good. So the reason why my desk is so cluttered is because I'm right in the middle of the Kukute F7 build. And this is going to be our uh, test subject for this video. Give him a little bit of juice and get some data out of him. If I pick them up and move them around, we'll start to get some numbers changing over there. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the radio itself, but just know that this is kind of what I'm doing with the quad out of the shot. Yeah, she does not like when he's that close to her. So if you ever have that problem, they're right on top of each other. Sometimes you'll get a telemetry loss. All right, so just FYI on that one. All right, so here we are. Now, this is a bunch of telemetry data. I don't know whether you'd ever want to put this much telemetry data on there, but I picked some stuff that was of interest to me. This is all live data that's being updated by the second. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what you're looking at. The battery is the battery of the radio itself. VFAS is the combined uh, voltage of my four cell LiPo. This is a timer that I had set for 10 minutes. This is also the battery being expressed as a percentage. Heading is done by degrees, I believe. And if I change my yaw position, you can see that heading changes dramatically. Altitude, if I put the, all right, I'm trying to reach way up, way up high uh, so that you can see altitude and down low. And then you can kind of see vehicle speed. I think it's a vehicle speed. I don't know. I'm kind of waving it around as fast as I can um, to try to get the vehicle speed to move and it's not. And A4 is, I believe that is the average, average uh, of my four cells. Now, uh, up on top, you've got ACC X, Y, and Z. Those are my accesses. All right, so I've laid the quad down flat on the table and uh, it's a tiny bit off. That might have something to do with the table. It might have something to do with the fact that I haven't calibrated in a while. So this is just a handful of telemetry items that you can get from this Kukute F7. So uh, anyhow, let's take a look at how I got all this set up. And now we're going to get into widgets. So how do I make changes to this guy? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this button right here. This is the telemetry button right here. I'm going to press and hold and check it out. Set up widgets. Now, so the cursor is currently on setup widgets. And then if I roll, I'm on the layout cursor. All right, so I am currently selected on the one with eight. And if I roll to the left, you can see that that one is now selected. And I clicked on it to select it. And now that I've got it selected, I'm gonna hit the return button, which is this guy right here. And now I can roll to the next uh, field, which is setup widgets. And now I'm there. You can see that setup widgets is now highlighted and I'm going to click on it and check it out. I got, I got four, four screens. So what I'm going to do is if I wheel, you can't see it, but right now the upper left hand is selected. Now the upper right hand is selected. So I'm going to go back to the upper left hand one and I'm going to select it. Let's change. Let's see here. We got model, model bitmap. That's a good one. We got outputs. We can see our channel outputs text. We can put a text there if we want to. We can put a timer if we want to. 
Now, here is where I was getting all that telemetry stuff. Value. So once you get to value, you click on it and you get taken to this screen and you click on it again. And there exists everything that you have added to your radio. Starting with all the buttons and switches and stuff. Now, now we are at my telemetry items. So we've got RX battery. We'll go ahead and click that. And, and now I'm going to hit return. And I got my 5 volts. All right, so I've got my RXBT 5 volts right there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll once to get into the upper right-hand corner. And then I'm going to click. And let's see here. That might be a good one, good place for a model bitmap right there. But that's not why we're here. We're here to go to value, zoom through all the stuff till we get to our telemetry. And I want to get the most important one there is. And that is the voltage of our LiPo. So now if I roll again, I'm in the lower left hand and I can click on it. And I think you can kind of get an idea for what you can do with this thing model bitmap. Here's my channel mapping again. You can just do text, timer, value. Click value, click it again. Now we can set the value. Let's do A4 this time. There's A4. And if I come back out, there's my A4. And then here I can go to the fourth one. And basically, again, I can put whatever I want. Um, let's just go with the let's just go with the model, like that. All right. Now I chose four. I'm getting space for four. I could do eight. I could do two. I could do whatever I darn well please. All right. But now all four of them are there. I can return out. All right. So I've gone completely back out. And you can see that I've got my information there. And if I want to get back in, I long press here. And now I can click on page and you can see where I get to top bar setup. And I want to move the cursor. See, I'm moving the cursor to setup and I click on it. All right. And you'll be able to see the, the cursor select right now. ACCX has a solid box around it. Whereas the other ones have a dashed box. I'm going to, I'm going to roll once to the right. So now we could actually feasibly change the middle one, make it a counter. All right. I just made it a counter. All right. Just for the sake of having something move. And I go to the next one, click on it, select it. I can make it another timer if I want to. Oh, we don't have a timer here. So there's a timer. This thing is how I have a model down at the bottom. Select a widget. Let's just do throttle there. All right, so you can see it says throttle it is at zero and throttle at 100, throttle at zero. I don't know why you do that. I mean, I suppose you could do it that way, but anyhow. So another thing we can do is come to telemetry, long press, and then if you page over a couple times, you get to this user interface. And right now the cursor is on theme. Now it's on top bar, but go back to theme. If we click it and we change it to the other one and we click it, we're now set up for the other one and it's changing to the other theme. All right. So the background color is white. The main color is red. And I think we've already talked about the top bar setup. Now that I've changed the theme, you can see that the theme has a custom background image that I added in a previous video. I think it was somewhere around 11 or 10 or something like that. I forget. We did a whole bunch of customizing to the radio, uh, changing the welcome screen. Let's see here. Now let's go ahead and unplug him. That background image that you saw was something that we changed in a video earlier uh, regarding a bunch of making a bunch of custom changes. Like, for example, we can go to turn the radio on. So we've got a, we had a custom splash screen. We had a custom welcome audio. We've got a custom background. He, and now we've got our custom background there again. And uh, I've unplugged the battery. That's why the VFAS and the, the battery are showing volt, no voltage. 
So there it is. There's an introduction to widgets on this radio and hopefully a deeper dive into telemetry and how we can display the telemetry so that it's beneficial to us. I'm going to pretty much wrap it up there so that this video doesn't go on and on and on. I want to encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit that little bell so that you get uh, immediate notifications every time a new video comes out. And if you really, really like the video, do me a favor, tell somebody, share the video on social media and let people know how beneficial you found the video series. If that's the way you feel, if so, I'd greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, I do hope you subscribe because we ain't done. This is video 13. I got immediate ideas for at least two more radio related videos that I'm probably going to kick out here this week. And beyond that, the sky's the limit. But I do have a list about a mile long on uh, videos that I want to do on quads and multi-rotors and radios and drones and eh, all that kind of stuff. Whatever, 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 whatever word you, you choose to use, um, I'm going to make a video on it. All right, that's it. I'm rambling, so I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for sticking with me until the very end. I'm Steve. See you in the next video.